The European Union is shrouded in uncertainty. Russia, the Middle East, terrorism, immigration, signs some think that suggest EU security should be strengthened. The European Parliament has put the European Defence Union back on the table. There is crisis around Europe in many places and unfortunately during last year we also have seen lots of terrorist attacks on, on our soil. So it means that the main aim is to join our resources also in defence and security of the European Union. European forces already operate in the Horn of Africa and in the Western Indian Ocean. MPs propose to establish a headquarters to plan and command more crisis management operations in a move that will see 2% of GDP go to defence. With Trump's unexpected election, some concerns have been raised about international security, the president-elect having questioned on several occasions America's position within NATO. While pointing out the complementarity between NATO and the EU, MEPs also sent a clear message. Let us not forget that NATO is a collective defense alliance and not a company whose unprofitable branches could be shut down, born from the lessons of two world wars and meant to defend and promote the values which brought us together in the EU too.